product design and process selection with respect to service industry this will be the theme for this presentation welcome everyone we will be talking about exclusively about the service industry in terms of designing of the product and the processing thereby so the trends in servicing industries what are the trends first and foremost thing is customer is the king you know this is the trend that goes around it customer satisfaction is of prime importance in fact it is the the only intention for an company to sustain in this particular competitive world so designing product and services that are customer friendly um it might be an example would be a user friendly software wherein we are shifting from cui or character user interface into gui or graphic user interface so a person need not need to read go through it probably a pick will help them to uh, enable them to run the software reducing time to introduce produce new products or services let's say phd degree uh, often in within 180 days is what we are looking earlier days it was it is to take around somewhere around 6 years 7 years 8 years and people have taken even a decade to complete a uh, doctorate in philosophy as a degree the organization capability to produce and deliver the right item is what we are looking into it here yes, please understand so one is customer satisfaction the next one is the re reducing of time and then all about delivery part remember the example which we uh, we keep on saying about it that the on time delivery is of prime importance because on time delivery or before time delivery actually thrills a customer um compaq could not deliver enough laptops in mid 90s it took a huge orders but it it the order itself backfired because it was not been able to deliver the uh, laptops as on time the bulk orders actually malfunction in fact backfired for compaq altogether and look at it compaq as an industry as a company does not exist as of today so environmental concern definitely yes we have one more things that people are becoming very um, eco sensitive ecological sensitive environmental environmentally uh, aware so designing products that use less of a material let's say toyota prius it's a hybrid car which uses both gas and electricity to run the show so at the end of the day you are you consuming less of a fuel once you start consuming less of a carbon carbon fuel or a fossil fuel if you, if i may say so you are reducing less carbon footprint or less damaging to the environment so toyota prius is doing the same work around it and these are the trends that is been given there in the service uh, design again customer satisfaction prompt on pro prompt delivery uh, on time and probably on time and every time to the required things delivery part of it as in the capabilities of an organization and the environment concerns thereby yes service design is all about major factors major factors be it your cost be it quality be it time to the market you cannot you cannot be a laggard to the market right you have to bring the product that the product has not been introduced as such in a new market you should always be the innovator in case if you are a laggard then you should be cost sensitive you should be coming with a cheaper variations the better things customer satisfaction remains the primary importance and the competitive advantage remember competitive advantage when i say either you should be the innovators and launch the product which the customer will actually experience for the first time or in case if you are a laggard or probably you are just following up with somebody as a leader you have to bring that product at an affordable prices an affordable uh, location which makes or you have to be a uh, bring in a some sort of novelty in your delivery part as far as service design is concerned so yes the major factor cost quality time to market customer satisfaction and competitive advantage remember be it service design be it product design or should i say redesigning of them should be closely tied to the organizational strategy thereby so activities what are the activities of service design remember first and foremost thing what about in mark with uh, the red things you know the customer wants and needs to be understood and these needs and wants if can be fulfilled means that you are creating some sort of product or service requirement next thing 
is refining the existing product or facilitating the existing product in a much better customer sensitive fashion or uh, i have just said from a character user interface modern day laptops palm top smartphones uh, you have the tabs everything is moving into gui or graphic user interface so it is almost instructional at the same time the customer does not know but he or she has been trained how to use the machine all by themselves in a flow right and this is done on a subconscious level before it before uh, some time back this was not the case now next is can we develop innovative product innovative services bring in up experience to the customer which they have not done it or they have not experienced it as of yet so develop new product formulate quality goals and cost target now this is one which we require to go across is quality goals as in uh, every time whatever you deliver every time the product the services has to be identical at the same time you should not be hanky panky with the cost construct and test prototypes as the case might be and document specification this is something which we keep on saying around it before launching into the market i would appreciate if the companies construct and test prototypes as on when on base so reason for service uh, design why do we have to design services uh, definitely yes there are many reasons i will i'll give you an example of a um, so, sports utility vehicle i suvs as such to tell you to hammer on the point what why is the what are the causes why we should go for or aim, uh, engage ourselves into designing or should i say redesigning of services let's say for suv the sports utility vehicle and uh, there are economic reasons why because it's low demand and excessive warranty claims why it is a low demand because it's a huge car it's a huge vehicle altogether Uh, it's almost an all-terrain vehicle, definitely yes. But the problem with uh, the economic things is it actually has a lot of claim. Why? Because it's topples over. It's top heavy. As a result, the things goes wrong. So it might have a high war warranty cost. That's one of the reasons for being uh, redesigning the SUV into a bottom heavy vehicle altogether, so that it doesn't topples around. next is a social or demographic now changing taste and aging population now if you look into it the population of the world is graying right as a result what has happening is people who are graying might have the pocket pinch or they have the money in the pocket and at the same time they must be switching their taste but there is a handful percentage who would love to remain as young as possible or probably be dynamic in their approach and in the hearts of hearts they are actually uh, people with raging hormones in them so suvs for generation x people age but do want but want to stay dynamic at the same time there are other reasons let's say political liability uh, liability or legal i said there was an issues with the manufacturing of suvs which were top heavy and bottom light which has been rectified of lot and if you see the claim number of claims have reduced typically but then suvs are basically run by vehicle with uh, having a raging hormone so they might be prone into accidents so we need to take care of the safety issues the new regulations and so on and so forth yes sports utility vehicle has to compete with a, a normal car be it a hatchback or be it a sedan what are we looking into it so there are complete crossover that is coming at the sedan versions within the suv now we have come something with muv or multi utility vehicles so yes we are coming with new products all together and products and services suv sales have increased with promotions definitely yes because why the reason is the suv would be having a higher margin now if we want to go across it is the cost of availability the raw materials the component and the labor that we are looking at and plus is the technological factors in terms of production process and the component now what i've sh shown to you as far as service design is why things should be redesigned all together for a product basis at the same time with a service basis and similarly if you can go around it in a five star in a luxury hotel the the most common food the most the most common food of the people would be cross with every one of them as the case might be what we are looking out here we are not looking anything 
absolutely nothing that we are looking uh the similar food similar items similar services might be done at a rundown hotel also rundown restaurant also but the accomplishment the environment at which which we serve that is what commanding commands a premium all together so we have these uh these parameters of economic social political competitive and the availability of the cost or the technology that comes into play so objectives of service design let us understand the objectives clearly what first and foremost thing is customer satisfaction if a customer gets thrilled with your services he or she is going to be a repeat customer and believe me repeat customers are easy to attract one and they get a lot of business to the uh, existing organization so yes the main focus is on customer satisfaction but that doesn't mean the secondary focus is missing around it the functions of product and services needs to be improved every now and then it has to be innovated every now and then cost and profit has to be taken into consideration cost needs to be driven down profit needs to be increased quality has to be improvised absolutely must there should not be any way any compromise in terms of quality of the product or the quality of services appearance should be very friendly it should be uh, customer friendly ease of production assembly ease of maintenance and services as the case might be as what we are looking forward towards it so taking into account the capabilities of organization in designing goods and services location of the facilities suppliers transportation fleet current workforce current technology standing contracts all everything everything and all can all limit an implementation for the new design everything can be a part of your uh, new design or there can be a impediments to your new de design you need to understand everything counts everything matters be it location be it suppliers be it transportation be it your uh, existing employees be it that existing technologies be it the vendors that you have a long term contract with now let us come forward with the issues of the service design every service you i i keep on saying it that we need to keep ourselves updated and we need to uh, tweak the services here and there so that it gives a new kind of experience to the customers a new kind of uh, product or services that can be done so there has to be a definitive life cycle there has to be a once the life cycle once a product has been designed or once the service has been designed it should be in work for one quarter two quarter three quarter one year two year before it can be revamped altogether so how much of the standardization needs to be uh, question the reliability of service every time you come every time you experience the uh, experience is almost identical the range of operating condition that we look into it case might be here comes the life cycle of the services you see on the x axis is the demand factor that uh, on the time time factor that we have done it look this is the time factor that we go around it and on the y axis is the demand factor that we have done so this is what goes around it and if you look at it there is from the introduction stage which is designed for low volume then probably with the flash volume and, and this thing goes up growth let's say um i have given you an examples of uh, flash memory which we used to keep it around it then comes the compact disc then comes the cassettes and things like goes around it for your for your music system all together so we have an introduction we have a growth of a compact disc there's a maturity there's a saturation then comes the uh, cassettes and eventually decline and now we have the usbs and everything is available online that goes around it so life cycle of a service of providing you music all, all together you see how it has been uh, plotted out x axis being time oriented and y axis is demand that there is no demand in the initial state but moment it goes picks up and over a period of time when everybody has already experienced there is a saturation and this eventually declines if you are not reinventing or revamping yourself so customizations what we are looking at the services around a standardized product now look at it what we are looking at first and foremost thing this is what we are development is all about it now this is a process where we are either developing a product or probably a service now in terms of product there is a production that comes around it but in this in terms of services production and uh, in terms of services production and consumption goes hand in hand absolutely hand in hand then 
we need to know that to the customer that the availability of product or services is there at disposal at a particular vicinity a particular company a particular location that we are talking around it so we need to market them let people know of the, about the uh, availability and then last point would be your delivery part as far as services are concerned the it can be consumed on the premises absolutely very well and done so this is what we are looking into a variety context for a uh, warranty for a contact lenses that goes around it now let us understand for the gillette sensor adjusting now this is what we we were doing about the contact lenses the previous night now let us talk about the gillette sensors in development process we are customizing the product as usual in the production process we are producing the product but this time it is customizable depending upon the uh, edges of the uh, Blades are concerned. It can be two blade, three blade, even four bladed things uh, are being utilized. Remember, it's gelid sensor that we are looking into it for men shaving purposes that we take into consideration. Market needs to be customized, or should I say, sensitized, or in otherwise educated. So delivery is standard probably in all of the process, depending upon the product and sizes thereby. So yes, service is nothing but an act, but an event. But uh, 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 a, a transaction that happens simultaneously between the producers and the consumer thereby. Service delivery system is all about facilities, all about processes and skills. Skills of the employees, facilities is the location and processes is the time that needs to be taken. The amount of experiences that you can give it during this process altogether. Explicit service or let's say care of services of hairstyling is one thing where when you go to salon, you have your hairstyle, probably you get it uh, curated and probably you might have got it shampooed it and placed gel around it. You might color your hair, you do a lot of things with the hairstyling purposes around it. Implicit services is being courteous, being, um, being very gen genuine, being very genial in nature, having a smiling face and having a good disposition towards the customer. So the customer feels welcome out in your premises. Many services are both product and service. That means there's a combination which goes hand in hand. It's a bundle with product. Let's say the maintenance service that we are looking into. It. So we are not only giving you a facilities to build up a, a house, probably. And thereby we need to go around it. Then comes the concept of selling. Selling is all about product and services. For example, IBM or International Business Machine as the case might be. So phases in service design. What are the various phases that we are looking into it as far as service design is concerned? Yet yeah, first and foremost stage would be the conceptual stage. It should be, you have to have an idea and it need not be an individual idea that we are talking around it. It can be a company's idea, it can be a group idea, it can be a team conceptualization the way matter of the fact is there has to be something that is coming new into the system into the society so identify the service component as to why an individual or a customer would love to uh, invite your services or experience uh, your product altogether the way you want to go around determine performance specification as the case might be what are the what are exactly where are the takeaways for the customers what are you offering as a company, as a product, as a services? These are the uh, things that needs to be actually cleared around there. Now, translate these specification into design specification. Simply said that it is not about the pizza that we are going to go around it. For an example of pizza, it might be a delivery which might be done within uh, 30 odd minutes. So that is what the performance specification translated to design specification in terms of 30 odd minutes that we are looking at it. Am I clear? If that is done, everything has been one altogether. We need to understand only this. Now, the design specification can be your delivery specification. I said about your pizza and the delivery part, the packaging part that you got to go around it, the branding part, it is going to come to you no matter what your distance is within 30 meters. It's going to be piping hot, served uh, with the right condiment. So you can enjoy a pizza, whether it be in your restaurant or probably at the comfort of your home. Let us begin with service blueprinting. The service blueprinting is a method in service design to describe and analyze or probably propose a service thereby uh, basically a very useful tool for conceptualizing a service delivery system uh, exactly what are the events when i say events every task has to be 
further fabricated or should I say fabricated into activities, right? And that would be service delivery as in when you get the order, what time do you get the order, what time you place the order. Now, I'm talking still continuing with the example of pizza, you get an order from your uh, customer, it might be an online or it might be a telephone call, it might be on your driveway, driveway in as the case might be. At what time you're going to place the order to the kitchen, at what time the kitchen is going to receive and acknowledge the order, at what time the kitchen is going to place the order back to you as far as finish the product, who is going to wrap it up, how it is to be delivered, if it is an online delivery, who is the delivery boy, if it is a for tele -deli telephone delivery, is it again through the uh, same delivery boy or a girl, or is it a drive-in, how, how long the uh, person has to wait around. So these are the part of your blueprinting around it. I'll give you the major step. There are six major steps to establish. Number one would be to establish boundaries. Yes, we are looking into it. Next, we to identify the steps involved. In fact, I have on and delay. Step to make you understand as far as just a pizza delivery or pizza ordering, what are the various steps that goes around it? Prepare a flow chart, as the case might be. That will enable you to understand everything now and then. Establish a time frame and analyze um, uh, analyze the profitability of the customer of the operation altogether. If you can do it, nothing like it. Otherwise, you have to work again and again. Time and again, as the case might be. So, characteristics of a well designed service system. Now, we will tell you the various uh, parameters that can be worked upon it. I'm just trying to give you an idea. Number one, it should be consistent with the organization mission. Actually, the values, the mission should be amplified by the organization. Is it user friendly? Definitely. Do we understand it? Definitely. To how degree or too much to how much degree do we understand or do we, there, is there anything that are still a bit confusing? Similarly, for RoboSnet, can it functions in a different condition? Different condition, be it a, any condition. There might be your skin, it might be a oily skin, it might be a dry skin, it might be a normal skin, it can be a weather. It's a sunny day, it's a rainy day, it's a humid day. There's a congestion. There's something that goes around altogether. Easy to sustain, probably does it require too much of an effort as the case might be, what are we looking at it, is it cost effective, does it, is it expensive, how expensive is it, uh, it is, that is what we need to go around it, value to the customers, as in who are the customers, is it the teenagers, is it the middle aged fellow, is it old aged fellows, what are we looking into, is it the single people staying uh, all by themselves, it is, is it a group of single people that we are looking into, it's, see the demographic changes that goes around it, so we need to go for the value for customer. Effective linkage between the back office operations, obviously yes, we need to go around it, single unifying theme. What does a justice system do? How do we go, go ahead with it? Ensure reliability and high quality. Absolutely must. At no point of time and any point of operation, quality cannot be compromised. Number one. Number two, the reliability factor has to be at most of the highest importance because this creates a trust and probably is the only reason why we have a repeat business. And this needs to be very consistent all throughout your operation of the business. The last step would be, it, is it up to date? Does it evolve? Does we improve upon our perf uh, performances thereby? Now, these 11 things are well designed service system requirement as, as the case might be. Let us also uh, understand the various challenges that might, might pose. Number one, um, uh, variable requirements, criminals and the cases are different, definitely. Now, we cannot, and I will not like to go around it, but there, there are certain certain cases which are way beyond the normal, and that needs to be discounted altogether. Difficult to describe. How do you describe a criminal action? We need a court system. Descriptions are not exact because they are based on words. That is the reason why lawyers make a living. Now, this is what we are looking into it. Is criminal uh, to be punished or crime to be uh, eliminated? Now, these are two things that needs to be taken into consideration when we are looking into the justice system. So it's difficult to design. Definitely, yes. So we have a court system. We have uh, the judicial system that places more more interest, and we have arguments from different perspective. The lawyers represent those things. Then we have the high customer contact. Service definitely cannot be inventory. Service is the only thing which has to be produced and consumed simultaneously. 
the service customer encounter has to be a pleasant one it not be a bad one but in, in a court cases probably when you are looking at criminal things might go wrong things people are meeting at the adverse condition a, a, a parallel to the real world is when people are actually coming to the hotel industry or to a hotel to enjoy themselves have a lovely food and probably evening or spend a night or something like that so they are there for leisure activity a similar kind of experiences would be hospital again people are coming there to get themselves uh, re rectified or they are ill they might be sick they might be down they may be suffering some disease they are there but in cases of hotel the uh, customer genuinely and willingly pays willing to pay for it but in cases of hospital the customer might not be in a position to pay for it but he has to pay for it otherwise his things his disease or her diseases will never get mitigated so that is what the service and customer encounter is all about it so difference between uh, product and service design most of the products uh, on the service design are provided together that's product and services are tangible and intangible now products are tangible we can touch it services we cannot service created and delivered at the same time probably yes it has been produced and consumed service cannot be inventoried as i've already said it to you because it has been produced and consumed simultaneously we cannot keep it unlike products which can be uh, produced built and inventoried also services are highly visible to the customers as the case might be this is one thing which we need to go around it service have a extremely low barrier to entry yes because anybody and everybody can go around it and open up the services provided that they go work for it location is important to the services ambience and convenience is what we actually all strive to now i have given you an example out here in terms of this particular figure where there is a variability on the y factor that comes around here and the degree of customer contact with the is present in your x axis if you look at it on a high high thing it is customized clothing i have given you an example on a moderate thing and a moderate see when the degree of customer contact is high and the variability in service requirement is very high we are looking at customer clothing but when the visibility of service requirement is moderate and so is the contact it is departmental source pur purchase wherein it is ready made uh, clothes which is always ha hanging around your in your big shopping malls be it carrefour be it tre uh, trent and all things like that probably yes the departmental store will always have the clothes around it but what happen when the variability of the service requirement is absolutely low so is the customer contact let's say telephone purchase absolutely we all refer to our friends or best case scenario we go to the internet and find out which is the telephone and which suits our budget and the requirement and when there is no contact for customers and no variable in services like the internet purchases it's a internet domain that you want to not the domain part the internet access you don't you do not count who is going to be the pro provider as such so you see the service variability and customer influence service design out there very clearly it has been presented in a very clear fashion remember it's high when high we are getting highly customized when low or not there are no reasons to go for it because as long as we are having an internet we can access the net based on the lower thing we have different kind of scale around here and the last slide for the day will be the operation strategy now what as in a service industry we are looking for a shorter the time to the market to the end customer we need to product a package of product and services in fact in services we are looking for solutions nothing else and not product sell solution increase this emphasis on component co commonality as in where it all this particular component can be utilized in other equipments other things now the com most common com uh, component will only enthuse the end customer to purchase you because then they don't see much of a differentiation and complication into it use multiple use of platform did i say when i was taking an example of a pizza delivery we have an online platform we have a telephone platform and we also have something called a driving right so you look at it there is a wide variances of multiple use that we are looking into it then comes the consideration status of the mass customization definitely yes if we can go for it mass customization nothing can go wrong around it right that means we are not only hammering down the product at the same time every customer is happy and look for incremental improvement every now and then a continual improvement is what we strive 
for us for the company to be successful in the long run with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching the uh, video till the end it is all regarding the service design designing of the product for the service industry and the process thereby thank you once again